Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor down here at the base. Snow this morning, April the 3rd, believe it or not. It's supposed to quit by 11, 35 degrees. That's your forecast for today, the boat doctor said. Anyway, 2023 190C running huge craft hard top with the backdrop. Uh, light bar up front, you got dual wipers, you got the Minnecota. And now, again, you have a window actually that you can pop. You can actually take that whole thing off and make sure you grease those grease fittings on that. That's a window stop. There's your dual wipers, your horns over there. Right here is your battery charger plug, right there for this. Now, a lot of people are starting to go to the or manual instead of the self deploy. When you got a window where you can just pop open and get to it, you're probably better off because these don't take much to lower. But they, uh, the one that self deploys, been having a little issues with the motherboard and the worm gear uh, after about a year. And then right here, you got your deck drain right here. And that's your fish box drain. You got a reverse chine right here. It goes back, that helps it keep stable. You got a double dip galvanized easy loader, key, easy loader trailer. You got a keel roller. Uh, again, the keel does, isn't meant to run on the roller. That's just if you miss, got it too deep, you hit that cross member, you're not gonna hit the cross member, you're gonna hit the roller. Propylene roller, good, instead of black, even black strips. Now this goes up until this hits the bottom of this. You don't want it to jump that, or it's gonna be hard to get off. Swing tongue, uh, raised coupler, that normally is about, say, 21 to 23 inches from bottom to the top of the ball. You got your peek-a-poo hole here, two inch ball, tell you when you're down on top, standard flip. Brake fluid, when this is pulled out, you can actually back up. You can go like this if it say you unplugged it or you had a different rig that didn't have a round seven. Or you can remove the cap and check the brake fluid, which I did. Cables, good. You want to check, make sure there's no wear spots. Once that cracks in there, it'd be time to think about changing them because they can kind of start rusting from the inside out. Uh, this is for your Minnecota load guides. Got gear bath oil hubs, nitrous filled, you can run regular air, five lug, they're ST20575 R14s, brown good, white bad on the gear oil, half to three quarters full. And if you ever fill those, just make sure you put a level on there and this thing is level. And you add until it's half full, walk away for 15 minutes. Add a little bit more, half, get away for 15 minutes, don't overfill them. Uh, net holders, rod holders, Garmin, I gotta calibrate that. It is cold, shit. I got like brain freeze. You got big halogen rear deck light. You got a rear deck light. 99 high thrust, trim tabs. Ah, cool little boat for 19. And then you got uh, double plate, bolt on, easy. Those are good zinc tabs. Uh, 11 by seven. This got a gear case of a 25. If you look at 25 standard, it's the same size. Grounding wires, grease fitting. Power, there's your power trim, oil drain. I'll have to call back. Anyway, uh, seacog valves, make sure those are turned open uh, in the rigging department. Okay, you got a 200. And you got trim right here. Make sure your water flow is fitting out here. Make sure that nut is tight and tight here. This is really loose. I uh, hand tightened and had uh, Chris come out and tighten that up. Uh, Transducer for 51, maybe 5464 UHD. We'll find out once I get in there. I got to set it up because I'll show you how they come. They're just blank. And then I have to basically calibrate everything and set it up. So when you get them, it's just blank. So that's the, one of the advantages of coming down to us is because I, I'll set this all up so it's pretty much set for you. Then uh, if there is a little issue, I can kind of walk you through it. Yeah, you got the sea runner here, nice layout. Oh, these are all uh, filled to foam, all the cavities in here. And then you got mag, we knew that, 225. We know it's a 60 gallon tank. I, I don't know if I mentioned that to you. Uh, the dead right, yeah, 16. They upped that, it used to be 15. So it's 16 by 23 by 35 degrees. So they played around with some of those numbers there. Bottom gauge, yeah, 190. Bottom west, 78, yes. Okay, see if they changed anything here. Transom 96, 24. Yeah, everything seems about the same. The only thing you'll probably really want to know is a 60 gallon tank. 
uh, and then they foam fill it. So now I'm going to put it in the water, and like I say, wow, I think the sun's out, and you think it's warm, but man, it's like you could eat a uh, thing of ice, ice cream or something. All right, this is the Boat Doctor out.